Hello, everyone. I've got Frank Marshall, the director of Jazz Fest, a New Orleans story with me today. Um, Frank, so uh, thank you so much for joining me on uh, such short notice, too. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Austin. It's good to be here. Yeah. Um, and, um, and, and yeah, I mean, so first of all, um, to those who don't know what Jazz Fest is, what is it? in your own words. <laughs> well, it's kind of hard to describe, but it's, <laughs> it's certainly not all jazz. Uh, that's the first thing you need to know. It's, it's, a, it's a big music festival that's been going on for over 50 years now. Um, and it was founded back in 1970, but it's not just music. It's culture, heritage, it's food, it's arts and crafts, but it's really focused around uh, New Orleans and Louisiana and the South. So, um, you know, and as I say, it's not just jazz. It's got everything. It's got blues, gospel, uh, zydeco, uh, rock, rhythms, brass bands, piccolos, uh, you know, um, just every kind of, uh, of music you could imagine. And it goes on two weekends in a row, four days each, four days each. And... Uh, I think uh, Quint Davis, the, one of the co-founders, said there's 7,000 musicians come in. And so any kind of music you want to hear, you can get there. Yeah. Um, and I actually just had a friend who just came back from New Orleans. So um, surprised she didn't talk about it. Um, but um, so... Uh, why, why a documentary about Jazz Fest? Was it a preservation of, of the festival? Well, it was, uh, it, it came up in a conversation I had back in 2018 with, with Quint Davis, who is the director of the, of the festival and has been there all 50 years. Um, and he's excited about the 50th anniversary and thought there should be some sort of celebration of it. And you know, what did I think about doing a documentary and capturing what goes on there? Um, and what really attracted me was they've had a really, uh, they have a, a well-founded uh, archive where they've collected materials over all these years. So they had a lot of great stuff that we could use from the past and compare it to a lot of the performers have been there almost every year. Some one year on, one year off, but we were able to show performers from, you know, 20, 30 years ago and today and to talk to them about it and what the festival means to them and uh, how important it is. So it just felt like the, the right time. Uh, I also was able to talk to IMAX and they gave us IMAX cameras to shoot it in. So I, you, you won't see it any better than this and you also won't hear it any better because we did our mix up Skywalker Sound, which is, you know, won oh, nice. Oscars for that. So um, it just felt like the right thing to do. I'll have to convince my local IMAX to go and show, go show it. Um, yeah. Because we've got like a huge, huge IMAX screen here. Um, I think it's. Where, where are you? Um, I'm in the Ozarks. So. Oh, okay. So Branson IMAX would be the uh, closest IMAX. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna. I've been trying to talk to the uh, owner there about like, hey, let's get some more indie movies into them um, in, instead of just the latest Marvel movie or whatever tends to be popular. But I, I was actually trying to talk to him about the Beatles Get Back, the rooftop concert that right. just had their IMAX thing. Um, but let's touch on that ar archive um, aspect you talked about. Um, we've been seeing a lot of archive documentaries like Summer of Soul, um, Apollo uh, 11, and probably even more than I can think of right now. Um, and what, what is it like working with that? What do you have to do uh, r restoration at that point? And what is that like? Well, it's like going on a treasure hunt. Um, you know, you, you say, okay, what do you got? And then you get a long list <laughs> of, of things that you start going through. And, and so you request, you know, show us that footage 
And mainly, I always ask the question, what do you have that nobody's ever seen before? <laughs> that you, you know, okay. Um, and the great thing we had on this was they had 16 millimeter footage of the of the first festival in 1970 when George Ween brought Mahalia Jackson up and introduced her. So we had George Ween in 1970 and George Ween in 2019. And he was able to talk about what it was like for these 50 years to be putting on this festival. But that was really special to have the picture and the sound. Uh, that was incredible. So as I say, it's like a treasure hunt and you hope to find a lot of golden nuggets. Yeah, that's nuts. I did to get that footage that far back. I mean, that's almost, that's almost unheard of. Yeah. And uh, we also, we also had a, a great interview with BB King uh, that's in the movie. And, uh, and of course, then we have to restore that footage and then scan it into uh, digital. So it, it can be up res to, in this case, to IMAX quality. It's a little grainy, but it still works. Yeah. I mean, with Apollo 11, it was like, there's some points where you could tell, oh, okay, you could tell this is filmed yeah. on like cameras that were maybe like shoulder mounted or something like that. Um, but that actually, strangely enough, had an IMAX release too. Um, <clears throat> so we've been seeing this resurgence of, uh, well, not resurgence, just a abundance of music documentaries like Summer of Soul and right. uh, Sparks Brothers, which both are great movies uh, in their own right. Um, so I, I just want to ask, like, how, how do you feel about that? Like, it, it seems to be almost a new genre. Yeah, I, I love it. It's kind of a renaissance. Um, and I think what's really been important here, uh, Austin, is that um, people don't see documentaries as... Um, as school anymore, <laughs> they 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 see them as they're not like doing your having to do your homework or history or something. They're really entertainment, and you learn things along the way, particularly um, uh, on the music level. You know, I did the Bee Gees, and so many people said to me, "Well, I had no idea that the Bee Gees wrote this and this and this and you know." Islands in the Stream and this and that. And I just thought they were Saturday Night Fever. Well, you know, once these docs get into who they're documenting, uh, you find out great things. And I think people are, are have really kind of flocked to them because uh, they're so entertaining. Like yeah, the Sparks yeah. Brothers. The Sparks Brothers. How about that one? Isn't oh, that man, cool? That's so, that's so good. Yeah. If, if anyone's watching this and hasn't watched it it's on netflix as well as a whole host of other great documentaries yeah. um like uh the rita marino documentary that came out of sundance 2021 uh, but the sparks brothers is fantastic it, and i think what's great about music documentaries is they can kind of open your mind to hey i really like this artist even though i have no idea who this is right um um and I also think that's one of the great things about film. Um, so, well, I, I agree. And I think you'll see a lot of performers and artists in Jazz Fest that you might not have heard of that you're going to want to check out, like Samantha Fish, for example, and Sonny Landreth. You know, they're, uh, they're pretty cool, but they're kind of under the radar. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's, um, I, I was looking at the press kit list. This, today and I was like it was just a list and I was like okay I don't think I'm ever gonna get through the list of if I ever like want to go to all these concerts or anything like that um it'd be a South by Southwest uh, Herculean <laughs> task <laughs> just a year full yeah. of uh, going to concerts but um Frank I I want to thank you so much for your time it, it it's been a true pleasure to interview you on such, again, on such short, short notice and on, uh, well, I believe before this even premieres at South By. Um, and for those who have a badge at South By Southwest, um, I'll have a link to the screenings down below. So with that, um, 
Thank you again, uh, Frank. Well, thank you, Austin. It was a pleasure to talk to you, and I uh, hope you enjoy the movie. Yeah, I'm going to watch it tonight. Great.